Today's warm up. Number one, solve 8x minus 5 plus 4x equals 10. I'm going to do the distributive property here. 8 times x, 8x. 8, 8 times negative 5, negative 40. Bring down the positive 4x equals 10. Okay, so first step, I'm going to draw a line here. I'm going to identify our terms. I'm going to combine our like terms. We can combine this here. We've got 12x. We're going to bring down our negative 40 equals 10. Now what we're going to do is add 40 to both sides. That cancels this out because it's 0. I'll bring down my 12x equals 50. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 12. That'll get x by itself. So x equals 50 twelfths or 25 over 6. Number 2. Create a function from the table. Function, we're looking for a linear equation. Our linear equation, of course, is y equals mx plus b. So we're going to look for the b first. We look in our x, on our x values, look for the 0. The y value next to the 0x value is our y-intercept. So, so far, what we have so far is y equals mx plus 10. Now we're going to look for a constant rate of change for our slope. We start at top, 6 to 4. We're actually subtracting 2, 4 to 2, subtracting 2, 2 to 0. Again, subtracting 2, 0 to negative 2, subtracting 2. Y, column, 5 to 0, we're adding 5. 0 to 5, we're adding 5. 5 to 10, adding 5. 10 to 15, adding 5. And also down here, 15 to 20, adding 5. Let's complete this out and subtract it too. All right, so our slope is going to be equal to our change in y over our change in x. If we look at what we have so far, our change in y is 5. So m would equal 5 over our change in x, negative 2. Okay. So our function would be y equals 5 over negative 2x plus 10. And number 3, find the perimeter of the rectangle, of the rectangle below. So we're finding the perimeter. With the perimeter, we want to know what the border is all the way around. <clears throat> We've got one side here, which is 8 inches, and we also have this diagonal, which is 10. This forms a right triangle. So that means that we can use the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. <clears throat> now, the, the special side is the hypotenuse, which is across from the right angle. The hypotenuse is a special side and it goes in a special spot. The special spot that it goes into is C. So if we rewrite this, what we're looking at is 8 squared plus B squared equals 10 squared. 64 plus B squared equals 100. Subtract 64, b squared equals 36. We're going to take the square root of both sides, so b equals 6, of course, inches. So this would be 6 inches if we want the perimeter our perimeter, we've got to add these up. This is a rectangle, so if this is 6 inches, this is also 6 inches. If this is 8 inches, this is also 8 inches. So 6 inches plus 6 inches is 12. We're going to add that to 8 inches plus 8 inches, which is 16. And that is going to give us 28. 
So our answer would be 28 inches.